Look at that, don't we? Are we done? Okay, that's mm -hmm. fine. Thank you. So now we, we've got one left before PX. Is that right, Sam? Is anyone left? That's right. One more. So the highlight of the day, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, is the review of the council's policy for the appointments and remuneration of directors of the council organisations. So who's who's talking to this? No, Leah's, uh, Leah is tied up. I mean, ultimately, I think you've been well and truly yeah, absolutely. had it's discussions, I think, rather than more officer advice, which I don't think you need. You probably need to go into your recommendations mm. now. This, this, I'll just say, this, this is going to be an extremely big item. But I think it is a discussion we need to have. Make a call and move forward. I want to chair this in the clearest way possible so we all know what the question is and can vote accordingly. I think it's easier to be upfront about the question and have the vote, so that's why I proposed the recommendation based on the initial staff recommendation, which offered a variety of options. So I just want to go over some outline of how I will progress through this item. I intend to move a recommendation that sets out the key question is particularly do we want to allow directors to keep their fees or donate them to the Mayor's Welfare Fund? As discussed with councillors yesterday, there will probably be a foreshadowing motion should recommendation one fail. And should that foreshadowed motion fail, then I want to note that the status quo will continue. That is, that no one gets to keep their directors' fees and they all get donated to the Mayor's Welfare instead. I also intend to call the final vote on this the item by recommendation. There is plenty to discuss and amendments to consider, but I ask you that we have to work through the questions and consider each amendment as it comes. So a little bit of patience, please. And this is where Linda gets up and talks, but who, who shall we do to talk to? No one. Uh, I, I genuinely think you've we've gone been round there and, and round and round. We've been there yeah. and done that, okay. So with that, I... Move by recommendation. Do I have a seconder? Keller, thank you. So this is uh, your moving recommendation 1A one one. One and a. 2 to 13, Mayor, is that correct? Yeah, but I'll probably go down all of them In, one at a time. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but just for members' clarity, Mayor is moving 1A one one and 2 to 13. No, I've yeah. circulated them via email. Yeah, you'll do them individually, but yeah. just so we're clear. So, if, so you'd want to highlight 1A for us, please, Sam, just to make sure we're all on the same wavelength? Okay. Hypothetically, Mr Mayor, who would answer questions if we don't have staff speaking to it around any of the items? I will do my very best, you will do your and best. if not, uh, I You will. always do. <laughs> so, do we want to have any debate on Because we've got a mover and seconder on this. We want any debate on this before we, I do it? You can. Yeah, yeah. You certainly can. Um, just get ready to get Linda back, just in case. Yeah, yeah. So, one of them then is actually because I was just rereading here is that um, it is the it is this policy which asks CCHL to do the appointments process for CNZ. <laughs> so whether it's actually this policy where we should change that. Yes. Yes. And is it easier to do that now, or do we have to go through the whole process of writing another report? No, I think you could put a recommendation into that effect. Yeah, yeah. So if it was, e we could just do that in this report. So, Phil, I was wondering whether you would feel comfortable adding a resolution in there um, that changes. Oh, I can find it back in. The it was in the um, other stuff before. No, it was in something different. It's eight point four or eight point six, I can't remember, um, in the policy to allow the CNZ board to do its own appointments process yeah. rather than CCHL doing yeah. it. Rather than what's just happened just in the last little Several while. Several years. Or well, what's gonna happen to the yeah, mm. yeah. And what's gonna happen in PX. <laughs> yeah. But we just need if we, if we so if you work something up yeah. with Helen. Yeah. Mm. I'm sure that, that makes common sense yeah. to me. Yeah. Any other debate? Yep. Uh, just a pro, uh, 
question on process. You've obviously uh, moved the recommendations 1A and then 2 so down two to, to whatever it ends up yeah. at. Um, so you obviously can't move a foreshadowed mo motion of no, the first one. No, cannot. Somebody fails. else will need to move the foreshadowed okay. motion and uh, second yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But if 1A fails, it's like, can't see how then 1B would then pass, but... So the mayor will need to ask if there is if, if the foreshadowed motion no. is there and who would be the mover and who is the seconder. And the wife will just go straight on to the Otherwise ones below. We'll go straight on okay. to the ones below. Okay. Sarah? Um, sorry, Mel's just forwarding me things. I can't find them. Was, was there something that was different to yesterday from Boyd? Uh, there was um, oh, it's the same as the one last month. Okay, so in that case, the venues Otatahi ones, happy with it going to two. There was a, in the resolutions here, it said um, to then put the pay through to um, Mayor's Welfare Fund, if, but, if, but that, if, if that's what was happening. Yep. But they're currently not paid, so... That's correct. Yeah, yeah. So we would have to then, as council, we would have to put additional funding into want to do that. Um, venues to Tahi so that then they could pay the Mayor's Welfare Fund. And, and I'm just wondering if we think that that's not very sensible. It's not. One, one <laughs> thing you're, you're right about, um, from what I understand from Tim, Venues Otatau, he always used to have two, but yeah, yeah. during COVID it sort of just watered itself down to one. Is That's that correct? Yeah, there was yeah. no concept. Yeah, no, no, just, no, it, yeah. I'm happy with it going up to two. It was the funding of the director's positions, because mm -hmm. currently the status quo is that they don't donate because actually we fund them. Mm -hmm. And so... Um, I'm wondering if it's sensible for us to be asking them to fund two positions worth of stuff to Mayor's Welfare. When we're already funding when we're already anyway. Funding. Well, hypothetically, it shouldn't just be the profitable ones, the commercial ones. Yeah. Well, we did well, in theory, venues should be, we but... Because <laughs> we resource CNZ as well. So the non-commercial ones don't right. pay. Yeah, um, we did. But then that, yeah, that got... That got yeah, in translation. translation. If we in wanted to put it back, where would we put it? We'd put it under the... No, we can't put on this. Fourteen. You go down to fourteen. Okay. Trying to find where that was. Okay, yeah. Let me put right it just as a new one. Agrees. So if we collect all the issues, we may pause council meeting. Yeah. So mm -hmm. we can just work them through. And put another couple in the bottom. And of the maybe head. put two more on there. Yep. Okay. So, uh, Aaron, are there any please? other questions? Just, just a question. Just because it's it's generally quite a divisive thing and has been in the past based on. Uh, people's own views of economics, ideology, whatever you want to call it. But the for this, what, why is there not an option where people can choose, when you, if you get selected to a position that is in every other part of the world paid, um, that you then can sign up to the Mayor's Welfare Fund that yes, all of my salary, because I, I encourage anyone here that's super flush to give at least half of your current salary to the Mayor's Welfare Fund. Um, just to bring yourself down to the, you know, below average pay mark. Uh, so why not do it? Have that as an option. No, no, no. The one of, of with directors fees that you can, but it's yeah, but it's wait, 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 wait. it's voluntary. Why? <laughs> Why, why can it not be? I've never seen that put to the table that it's voluntary and, and anyone who signs up and, and gets elected can go, yes, look look at me, I give all my money away. <laughs> just, to, just to put you in the picture, what happened last year, I was on Transways, right? Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, if I'm earning the money, I'll give it away, right? Even though the council said, mm. give it to the Mayor's Welfare Fund. Mm. I started doing that, and it was pointed out to me in no uncertain terms that the council voted for it, and it made it very clear to me that I have to go with what the council said, and of course that's correct. So I gave away X number of dollars personally, then I had to give the same extra number of dollars to the Mayor's Welfare Fund. So <laughs> <laughs> if you want any financial advice, do not ask me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just letting well, you know you, that, pay tax that you, you can do it, and, but it's not in there at the moment. So I think we should just start off and start going down these things, and then we can have a wee adjournment at the bottom if we want to add a few more in. Right. All right. Mm -hmm. And just to, sorry, I've just sent one to um, Sam as well, which would be a foreshadowed, if there isn't someone prepared to pick up one, 
the B. B. Then and like we said, you know, if that failed, then effectively we'd go status quo. I'm just putting in there as a maybe a middle ground of people would be of. Yeah, oh, one C. Okay. Yeah. Just to. So before you go any further, uh, we need to know whether there is a uh, mover and seconder for one B, and then whatever one C is, I need to know if there's a mover or seconder for whatever one C is. But if you can get that on the screen, please. Am I reading it? So there's one B just getting. Made. So you're asking, is there a seconder for a foreshadow? I'm asking if there motion. is a mover and seconder for one B, which is the foreshadow motion. So If you're against 1A, you would be against 1B. I'm not commenting on anything. I just want to know whether I've got a mover and seconder for 1B. That's all. So if there is no one for 1B, is there a when you one for 1? So no one for 1B, just to be clear? All right. It's a question here. Yeah, yeah. Um, so two, um, I, I think it's odd that we would ask a commercial company to provide a donation when it's us that's chosen how many councillor directors they have, uh, and that we have at the same time increased the um, number of independents previously as well. So they're still going to have the same number of directors that they had before. Not necessarily, I don't think. Well, up to. Pretty up to. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's up to, but it could be could seven be. or eight, right? It'll either be seven or it'll be eight, mm -hmm. um, including two councillor directors. So they will be paying the independents at least one more at least one more independent well, it depends than on, they currently do it depends on what we determine in px in terms of the appointments well we we made that one last week the we made we, we did that decision C last week we request ccl to consider and i think that. Yeah. 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 up to so can yeah, we it was up to last time obviously you're not yeah. in debate members during i just think it's yeah. odd that we ask a commercial company to make a donation an annual donation of Sarah, Sarah, it could read that they consider making it, and that's how it should have read. Request CCHL consider providing an annual donation. Would, the, would you accept that? I, I mean, request is always a request anyway. Mm. It's not a, it's not an order. Yeah, mm. that's yeah. right. I mean, that's right. it's fine. I just think, I think it's an odd thing so, to do. So, have we got a mover and seconder for one B? Mm, no. no. Okay. So, so, what is one C? Well, can I, process-wise? You don't need a move and a seconder for a foreshadow motion, because unlike an amendment, you could, because amendments, they're checking the amendments. You can't move and second more than one, but I think foreshadow motions, you might be able to. I don't know. Helen's just checking. I'll just wait for our legal eagles <laughs> to inform us, because I know you can't with amendments. As we speak. <laughs> So I'll if, take a wee if break one fails, someone might like yeah. to also second. Can we can we just adjourn B. while you guys sort out all this? <laughs> We've only just come back. I think I, I think we should put one A and see where we're at. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So can yep, you that's fine. highlight one A, please? Well, well, we need to know then if we're voting against it, then if one C then is live. So I suggest you uh, just step back for five minutes while it's we get the relevant okay. piece of advice. Yep. No problem. Thank you.